have a ruin of a sugar mill built back in the uh, 1860s. Like anyone else, the family dealt with sugar at one time. The uh, reason why uh, sugar no longer grows out this side of the island is because um, this side of the island, sugar just didn't do well. Took them about um, other parts of the island, the sugar was taking only a year and a half to mature. This side of the island, it was taking two to two and a half years to mature. It became unprofitable. So uh, in uh, 1871, um, the family decided to fold sugar in this uh, part of the island. Anyway, that sugar mill ruined us. The first sugar mill that was built on this side of the island back in the 1860s. Major motion pictures were filmed on out here. So as I make a left turn in the roadway up front here, uh, this is Ka'a'ama Valley. It's all part of the ranch. One of these scenes filmed here, remember Disney did a film called Pearl Harbor, the movie? Yeah. In that movie, there were some Japanese aircrafts that came screaming out of the mountainside. That was the exact route that the Japanese fighters used to come out of this mountainside, flew across to Kaneohe Naval Station, destroying all of the BBYs there. This was the exact route, right here to the left. This is where it was filmed at. Mighty Joe Young, the large ape, <laughs> ran throughout his mountainous home land and filmed here. Oh, he did. Yeah. Nicholas Cage, years ago, started a film called, T um, it was called uh, The Wind Talkers. Yeah, that's right. Wind Talkers was about the um, Navajo language that was used as codes in the Pacific. The Japanese were not able to break the Navajo language used as codes filmed up here. <coughs> um, 51st Dates, yeah, I've also filmed on up here. Um, oh yeah, one of the, I think, most notable scenes that were filmed here, remember Jurassic Park, 1992, the original. There were a lot of chase scenes in Jurassic Park. One of the most notable chase scenes, um, remember when those large flightless birds were chasing, what's that actor's the name? The Velociraptor. Uh, Sam Neill, along with the two youngsters. The large flightless birds were actually in stampede, and uh, the reason for the large flightless birds being in stampede actually showed up in that one scene that T Rex came out, picked up one of those large flightless birds, had a luau, and ate it. That's right, had a luau in front of everybody. <laughs> Film going up here. Yep. Now, uh, oh. Spielberg, okay, Steven Spielberg, executive producer of um, Jurassic Park, his intention was to start and in filming on the island of Kauai. That was his intention. But while Spielberg was there filming Jurassic Park 1992 hurricane, one of the most devastating killer hurricane slammed right onto the island of Kauai. It was uh, Hurricane Iniki. By the way, it hit Hawaii September 11th, 1911, 1992, when that occurred. Wow. Um, <clears throat> 165 mile an hour sustained winds now. 200 plus mile an hour gust of winds. 4,700 homes completely destroyed. Lives were taken. Billions of dollars worth of property damages. Spielberg, well he's known to be an opportunist. And Spielberg takes the opportunity of this storm to go out and film. He got a film crew together during the hurricane, went out and filmed. Um, some of the storm scenes in Jurassic Park 1992, by the way, are actual footage of Hurricane Indicus Fury. After the storm had passed, there was nothing left on the island. Complete devastation. Vegetation-wise, the island had been completely wiped out. In order to continue filming, Spielberg came to this island to continue filming Jurassic Park in 1992. 